Factor analysis answers the question of what indicators have in common. In an exploratory factor analysis, you start by first extracting all common variants from the data, and then you uh, take that out from the data, then uh, you extract another factor and so on. This uh, process leads to a factor analysis solution that is often uninterpretable because most of the indicators will load highly on the first factor and then have pos a mixture of positive and negative loadings on the remaining factors. To make the factor analysis results more interpretable, we do a factor rotation. What the factor rotation uh, achieves is that it uh, takes uh, the indicators first. So let's assume we have here uh, six indicators and uh, items one, two, three vary together items 4, 5 and 6 vary together. So this is the score of person number 1 and this is the score of person number 2 here. And uh, when we do a factor analysis first, we extract first factor, then uh, the factor analysis starts from the origin here and it asks the question uh, to which direction the data are. And uh, it'll indicate that all the data are to that direction here. So all the data are to the right and, and down a bit. Then uh, the next uh, thing that we do is that we eliminate the influence of this factor. So we basically shift all these observations sideways so that uh, they, are, uh, they have a, a zero value on this variation, this factor, and uh, then we extract another factor asking which direction the observations are, are and, uh, or the variables are then the answer is that they are either uh, up or down. So they are orthogonal to this uh, uh, factor here and uh, with two persons uh, we can use these two factors to uh, pinpoint the location of each indicator. So this indicator uh, item one is uh, this much along the first factor and then uh, that much along the, the second factor. This also indicates that the first factor shows the overall direction and the second factor is usually a, a positive or a negative depending on uh, which direction we go to that factor. Do we go up or down? And uh, the problem of course is that if we have to summarize, if we want to summarize this data, then uh, we would say that uh, the, this group of indicators in, in this direction and the other group is in that direction. So uh, the factor analysis really doesn't reflect that dimensionality even if uh, it allows us to summarize these indicators, give them our coordinates. So the problem is that um, these, uh, the first factor explains a little bit of every indicator and then the second factor has positive and negative loadings and they don't really explain where the data are in a way that is easier to interpret. The purpose of a factor loading is that uh, we try to reorient the factor analysis solution so that uh, indicators load highly on, on one factor and one factor only. So we try to maximize uh, each indicator's largest factor loading and minimize uh, all other factor loadings. It also makes the variances more equal. So here uh, the, the first factor explains uh, or here the second factor actually explains more variation than the first factor because all the indicators are in this direction. So uh, there are different techniques and the techniques are in two variants. Uh, we have oblique and orthogonal rotation. Oblique rotation uh, maintains the factors that they're uncorrelated. So we kind of take uh, the factor solution here and then we rotate it side, uh, around the, uh, the zero axis like that. So we rotate those two arrows so that they point more toward the clusters of the observations, like so. So we rotate it a bit and about 45 degrees or a bit less and then now the first factor points to the direction of first items one, two, three and the second factor points to uh, items uh, four, five and six. But these uh, factors still don't point exactly to where the items are because we are constraining that the factors must be uncorrelated. So this is a 90 degree angle. When we relax that assumption we can actually draw the lines so that uh, the factors are correlated when this factor is higher then this factor can be higher as well and uh, now the arrows point that the first three items are in this direction the second uh, three items are in that direction and that's the idea of factor rotation so you uh, you reorient 
the factor analysis to, uh, to make it uh, more simpler to interpret. So uh, do you have to uh, understand what exactly the factor of this and does? The answer is no, because there is a, a simpler rule of thumb that you can apply. The rule of thumb is that always use uh, oblivion rotation because um, it's uh, the theoretically the most appealing for many scenarios and particularly it is an, an oblique rotation. If your factors are supposed to uh, represent constructs that are correlated, which is the case if we make a theory about those constructs, then uh, constraining the factors to be uncorrelated doesn't make any sense. Varimax rotation is often the default and it's an, uh, an oblique rotation, so you should never use that one. The reason why Varimax is the default is because of history. Factor analysis has decades of history and uh, when factor analysis was introduced, we really didn't have computers. So people were doing hand calculations and uh, the Varimax rotation is much simpler to calculate than the Oblivion rotation. But nowadays the computer will do these, uh, both, of you, uh, both of these for you instantaneously. So the uh, amount of computation is a non-issue. You should really go with the direct Oblivion instead of anything else. And uh, when you look at uh, articles, they actually report that Oblivion is used. So this is a pretty nice way of, of, of reporting a factor analysis from this uh, information systems research paper. So the uh, authors report that they conducted uh, exploratory factor analysis, they did Oblivion rotation, and they also explain why they did Oblivion rotation, because they want to have the factors to be correlated. And you only need uh, one sentence and, and two lines for that. So that's really a nice way of reporting that you actually did factor analysis correctly.